back to another episode of the Behavioral Economics and Marketing Podcast Series. This is Sandra thomas Commonall. Season 2 is all about behavioral economics and marketing leadership. This week we are going to discuss the concept of pent-up demand in the travel industry. I recently published a white paper on are we experiencing pent-up demand in the travel industry, and I felt that this would make an interesting topic for my podcast. While this may seem very specific, the concepts discussed will be relatively transferable to many industries and across applications. So first, we'll give a little background on the situation. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. In the days and weeks to follow, life as we knew it came to a screeching halt as quarantine orders and safer-at-home campaigns became the daily news. In the midst of this, the travel and tourism industry was caught in a whirlwind of bad. New worldwide travel bookings steeply declined, while existing bookings were cancelled, leaving marketing professionals and business executives to make hard decisions on messaging, staffing, and even closing. Through it all, travel and tourism organizations have held on to the idea that pent-up demand currently exists in the travel industry, and the travel industry will come swiftly back upon reopen. And now we're almost a year into the COVID-19 pandemic, and this battle cry is still being heard, which leaves one to question whether pent-up demand exists in the travel industry, the factors that affect travel demand through these times, and what the release of pent-up demand will look like for travel companies. My white paper explores the question, are we currently experiencing pent-up demand through three data-driven studies. The first study lays groundwork for understanding and interpreting pent-up demand as it has existed in the past. The two subsequent studies focus on travel destinations that have opened to tourist arrivals and the travel behavior exhibited as a result. In this episode, we will lay the groundwork into what is pent-up demand. But taking it a step back, let's start at demand. What is demand? In economics, demand is a function of the quantity demanded of a commodity and the factors influencing demand, such as an item's perceived necessity, price, perceived quality, convenience, available alternatives, purchasers, disposable income, and tastes, as well as many other factors. When considering demand for travel during the COVID-19 pandemic, the statement and many other factors are the most weighty factors in the demand function which means they are the ones that have the biggest effect on travel demand. And just to kind of be clear on this, demand is a concept that is based on a function or a mathematical equation that factors in all of the variables that I just mentioned to create a schedule or a graph that describes the relationship between price and quantity purchased. For example, perceived quality of travel is not a factor if a destination is not open for travelers. These other factors include laws and regulations, as well as the perceptions about those laws and regulations. Fears such as, will I get sick? Will I get others sick? Unknowns or risks such as, what are the travel restrictions? Will I have to quarantine either there or on on the way back? How can I minimize the chance of getting COVID? Are there direct flights? Is it safer to stay in a hotel or a rental property? And then what about testing? There are so many new unknowns and perceived risks right now for travelers. And this is just the demand side. Demand is usually presented in conjunction with the supply side. And on the supply side, there are just as many unknowns and risks at this time. And now that we have a basic framework of what demand is, let's jump into pent-up demand. So what is pent-up demand? Pent-up demand is a buildup of demand for goods and services in an economy where consumers are unable or unwilling to make purchases to satisfy the demand at the present time. This generally occurs during times of economic uncertainty, such as a recession. But in the world of travel, there are many additional shocks to the marketplace. There is political unrest and friendly missiles, volcanoes, hurricanes, and other natural disasters, and of course, diseases and pandemics. These shocks occur both on the destination and the source market side. And in the case of pent-up demand for travel during COVID-19, both unwilling and unable to make purchases come into play. 
There are several different factors contributing to this, including limited travel supply, economic uncertainty, and unwillingness to travel due to fears of contracting COVID-19, um, giving COVID-19 to family members and friends, and fears surrounding the uncertainty of travel. For example, if a destination changes travel rules just prior to traveling or while in destination, from an economic standpoint, these factors fall into either the demand side or the supply side. On the supply side, regulations that prohibit travel create an artificial scarcity. There is another commodity that is well known for creating artificial scarcity, and that is the diamond market. Diamonds have always been thought of as a rare item that could only be found in a few places around the world through labor-intensive mining. However, the reality is that diamonds are far more common than the public has been led to believe, as large gem companies have created artificial scarcity by controlling the supply of diamonds that enter the market. In this case, it is the unable to travel due to travel restrictions and regulations imposed by governments, not suppliers, that creates an artificial scarcity. But that is on the supply side. If that artificial scarcity were removed, would travel consumers bum rush their favorite destinations? Would travel consumers choose to travel to a destination that wasn't on their bucket list just because it was open? Who would be the first target segment to show up? Would it be the elite travelers taking a private jet? Or would it be the backpackers that are itching to get out and see the world? Is it young or old? Or would nobody show up? What are the factors that are included in that demand function? And how can travel professionals leverage this information? I explore these questions and more in my white paper, Are We Experiencing Pent-Up Demand in the Travel Industry? You can check it out on Amazon. Wrapping it up. Understanding how we as humans make decisions is an important part of marketing and leadership. Behavioral economics is the study of decision making and can give keen insight into buyer behavior and help to shape your marketing mix. Pent up demand is a buildup of demand for goods and services in an economy where consumers are unable or unwilling to make purchases to satisfy the demand at the present time. This generally occurs during times of economic uncertainty such as a recession. In this episode we considered pent up demand in the travel industry during COVID-19. Stay tuned for the next episode when I jump into the meat of my research and findings from my recent white paper are we experiencing pent-up demand in the travel industry? Thank you for listening to another episode of Behavioral Economics and Marketing. This is Sandra Thomas-Kamenaw.